In 2014, our first annual Rancho Mirage tour of artists' homes and studios was presented right here at the beautiful Rancho Mirage City Hall. And this year, we're doing our second annual right here in the beautiful Rancho Mirage Public Library. We welcome you to our library every day and especially today because this artist studio tour started last year. Rebecca Picus has been key to this. Some really, really fine artists hidden away in this beautiful city. Hi, welcome to my house and studio and home. And uh, my name is Mario Picus. I was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I moved to New York when I was 20 years old. When you come to the desert, you never get out and you stay because this is home. And we, we live in so many other places, but I tell you, this is home. People are nice. The weather is perfect. My sculptures, I do it outdoors because I have a half an acre. So I know uh, the, the sky is the limit. So I do my sculptures in there. I used to do my sculptures in here. The only problem that I have, they were so big, I couldn't get it out of the house. So I learned my lesson, do it outdoors. I was about six years old. My parents got me a little praying watercolor set, and uh, I started painting the illustrations out of my elementary school, you know, textbooks. I had a principal at the school like my paintings, and he started hanging them in the hall. In, he must have bought little frames for them and everything. I paint six hours a day. I'm the mad painter. These are all little. Up there, you see all the little plein air paintings. I try to complete a big painting within a month. So see, for instance, I've got three paintings going here. Here's one, here's one, here's another one, because then it sets up before I get back to it. Hi, my name is Jean Range. I am from Albany, New York. I was very lucky to be born into a family of artists. My mom is an artist still at age 90. Art has been a part of my life my whole life. I went to Rhode Island School of Design where I graduated in 1970 and became a graphic designer. I'm inspired and I'm influenced by good design. I'm highly trained to solve visual communications problems, but I am always inspired by any kind of good design. In the desert, it's all about the light. We're in a very special place on Earth here, and the light quality is like nowhere else on Earth. What I paint, either indoors or outdoors, and it's mostly outdoors these days, is seeing the world in three dimensions and putting it into two dimensions. My name is Rita Steffen. I was born in Dayton, Ohio. 
came to the desert when I was seven years old. So I've been here a long time. <laughs> Painting is seeing, is looking at something and then recreating it and putting your own emotion into it. The desert's very influential in the sense that one looks at anything and with the time of the day, it changes. You have the beautiful colors in the mountains and the landscapes. Feel it's good to be loose and spontaneous, but I do prefer the studio. In fact, I've kind of called it moods and color is my style because I can paint landscapes, florals, people, portraits. I don't stay with any one particular uh, genre. So my whole theme is color. But this was just a feeling of, of motion, fluidity and color. Uh, I had an art teacher who was phenomenal and I had him for four years and we kept a daily sketchbook and I, I always felt, you know, I wanted to paint. I would advise anyone to do it now. Don't wait. <laughs> Don't wait till you retire. My name is Gary Cott and I'm originally, I was born in New Jersey and moved to New York City when I was 21 and uh, my career was in New York City and in Los Angeles. I, right off the bat I was a writer, producer, in the beginning TV commercials, then TV shows. It was about 30 years ago and I was working on TV shows and the stress of the TV shows about the scripts, about the show, about that, that I just started doing it to relieve tension. And I started as a hobby and I've been doing it ever since because it's a great relaxer for me and it makes me smile. <laughs> the light, the colors you have here, the, the easy spirit of the people, um, and it, it's rubbed off. And, and specifically on some of the art I've done, I, uh, I found an old screen door in the back backyard and I said, geez, I could make something of that. We live in the land of mid-century houses so I made a series of mid-century birdhouses. The way I feel, I feel the world today is so stressful that people come in the house, they can come over for dinner, and they're worried about their kids or money or something. And I like when they look around and they smile, and it, you can see by the time they leave, they're, you know, the stress is gone to some degree. If I can achieve that, I feel good. My name is Jim Ritchie. Uh, I'm a photographer living in Rancho Mirage now. I was born in New York City, spent my childhood there, went to college at Rochester Institute of Technology, uh, where I studied photography. And from then, I got into the feature film business. And I've been doing feature films and visual effects and TV commercials pretty much ever since the uh, mid-70s. I went to a high school that was a specialized high school in New York City, and I was given the opportunity to try a lot of different uh, programs. One of them I tried was industrial design, and through that process, I had to learn how to design a product, build a mock-up, photograph it, and uh, that got me my first camera when I was about 15 years old. That was mine, my first actual camera. And from there, I just, uh, instead of going to design school, I said, you know, I like this a lot more. 
My influences come from some of the original masters in photography. Um, Steichen is my favorite. That's who I studied. Um, when I went to school, I got to go through the archives at the Eastman House, which is a fabulous museum of Steichen's work. And Steichen deals, like I do, in black and white. He deals with a lot of negative space, um, and he deals with it as a design tool. Um, also, uh, a professor that I would have uh, lectures from very early on was Minor White, who, again, was world-renowned at the time uh, for his design-oriented work. Look up. You know, one of my professors once told me, go out, find what you want to shoot, set up your camera, get ready, make sure you can grab that shot, then turn around. Because there's going to be another shot right behind you that you're not going to notice because you're so focused. Um, and I also have a passion for uh, the Salton Sea and the desert life out there. I think it's something worth saving, worth promoting. So I've put together a series. I had a show at the Saguaro Hotel last year. Uh, I have one of my photographs is in an international show that opens June f uh, 4th. Desert influences it in, with the architecture is mid-century modern. Uh, I live in a mid-century modern home. I love the style, the clean lines, the negative space. It, it fits right in with uh, my sensibilities. That no matter how old something is, the mid-century modern, that it can be beautiful, that you can uh, open your eyes and look at something differently. Don't just look at the three palm trees that stick through the roof of City Hall. Go underneath and look up and you see an image that is totally different. I like to have people see things differently. So I try to find that aspect. I, I have one image of a, a tree that has long been dead from a lack of water, but it's reaching up to this cloud up in the sky and it just says hope to me. Shannon Hogan, and I'm from Peoria, Illinois. The, the way nature plays with light and shadow, um, whether it's outside or inside or a person's face, flowers, whatever, the way nature does that. I like the light in the desert, yes, very much. And, it, and it, it's just, just mysterious. I still haven't conquered it. I've only been here five years. Okay. Yes, and with this one, I was working at the Desert Art Center uh -huh. uh, one afternoon, and I saw these two people out on the lawn, and they were doing all of these gymnastics. Oh. And so I went out and I said, would you mind if I take your picture? And they said, no, not at all. And so I took a bunch of pictures. This one, I just loved. I just loved the way the light fell on them, and I loved the, how graceful they were. And uh, so I did that first painting over there, which is a very rough one. No, I work outside as well. Um, but that was done outside. That was not as interested in doing things outside, um, just because I have to take all my stuff with me. It depends on what my subject matter is. I, I've done a lot of flowers. Um, and I always like to convey their softness and their, their glow mm -hmm. and um, the way they sort of welcome you. I mean, hello. John Hennebury, Chicago, Illinois. There was influence. My father um, had a 16 millimeter uh, movie camera and he was always taking still photography. He had a Nikon, the first Nikon built uh, in Tokyo after the war. I got my start in, sh in photography at 
Chicago's Columbia College. Uh, I got a BA in photography there. Between junior college and getting my BA, I traveled for two years in Asia. I knew I wanted to do photojournalism, and I got hired by the National Geographic. I got two assignments. We started shooting in a 4x5. But we did fall in with Steve Wynn through Tom Fazio, golf design company, who loves us. And we did a, uh, a book, the first book in Shadow Creek in the 90s. And we did the second edition in 95. And we just finished a book for uh, the MGM Grand. That came about because we worked for uh, Donald Trump last year. We did his golf course, his, his brand new golf course in Scotland, which is his most favorite thing of all his portfolio. 